Hello and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I meant to say that in my last video. <laughs> so wishing you all um, a Merry Christmas and um, good times, good energy. All right, welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Uh, this is going to be a general reading for the collective to have twin flames and soulmates. This is going to be about what someone really needs to hear right now during this uh, Christmas holiday time. Since this is general, it's not going to resonate with everyone out there. So keep that in mind. Uh, for those of you new to this journey, uh, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a Divine Feminine and be a male or vice versa. Just take it how it resonates. Um, what else I want to say? I, I did take a little nap today, so I'm a little bit groggy, <laughs> I guess. That's what you would say. So I just got to remember what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's basically what I'm saying. So um, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I do offer personal reading, so if you're interested in that, um, all that information is below in the description and linked to my site, Intuitive Envisions 11. No, sorry. <laughs> See, I told you I'm tired. <laughs> the link to my site is intuitiveenvisions.com. And also my Instagram information, uh, these cards I'm using, all the decks, the links are below. And if you'd like to uh, support the channel with a donation, that information is there as well. Okay. So... I think that's pretty much it I, and also when I use terms like you she he uh, that person they uh, that could be your person or that could be you and when I'm talking about these energies when I lay the cards down they could be reversed as well even when I mention in divine masculine okay so just take it out resonates um, so I'm gonna get the energy surrounding this um, message what you uh, really need to hear right now and then i'm gonna go into the reading okay so let's go ahead and get started and a message um, at the end from spirit so these are the spirit of the animal oracles and dolphin play swim in the happy joy of living um, inhale confidence and exhale fear dive into your wisdom go with the flow Okay, so this is just saying that just don't think too hard. Just go, you know, where it's taking you. Go with where the um, energy is taking you. And being a playful energy is what I'm getting. Okay, living life. And surrounding water. So this is about emotions as well. Like allow your emotions to be in a playful energy. All right, so these are the Kipper cards. occupation so this is um about working maybe overworking um, maybe skilled effort this also could be about working on being in this energy of play so we'll see why this um is here okay could be some that may work too hard sometimes um i'm guilty of that <laughs> These are the Twin Flame uh, Mystic Moon Oracles. Contemplation is an energy here. I'm going to get two more. I'm going to get three from each of these decks. Mirroring. So this could be... Um, Mirroring sometimes comes up for me, um, or I take it as reflection, or just, you know, it is related to uh, twin flame connections. It sometimes can be about reflection um, as well. So this contemplation uh, energy here is about thinking, looking towards the future. This is an energy that could be being mirrored by the person um, you're thinking about. Um, your twin flame connection, or someone could be just reflecting on something, okay? Patience. 
Okay, so this is about timing um, as well. Needing to be patient in a situation. Um, this energy, like I said, this could be shared between you and the person you're thinking about. Or someone is just reflecting on time that's gone by or their patience in a situation. So we'll see why that is here or why these are here. Sorry, I'm going to spread these out because these other cards are a little bit bigger. So this is the uh, um, Oracle of the Unicorns card. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be conscious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Okay. So what I'm getting here is there's an energy about being aware, like awareness, obviously, is what it's saying is being aware, thinking about signs. You might be getting signs to work on um, your effort of playing more. So you could be getting this um, through um, numbers, synchronicities, uh, possibly dreams. But I've, I'm feeling also that someone's awareness is open. And that's what they're looking for. They're possibly looking for signs or spirit is telling you to look for some signs. I'm going to do that one more time. Didn't feel right. Okay. Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries, okay? So if you're in this energy of feeling like um, something is not going to work out or something's not going to happen, um, there's a, an energy of feeling that you are safe is what I'm getting or you're needing to feel safe. You're needing, possibly maybe needing to reflect this energy um, to uh, your twin flame, Um so that they also receive this um, energy as well is what I'm I'm getting. Flow. Okay, so there is um, two references to flow here. Okay, so this definitely is an energy of needing to just go with the flow, like relax is what I'm getting. Um, relax, find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. So it's like have patience while you're waiting for whatever to uh, manifest. And just allow things to flow, go into an energy of being playful and just going with that um, because there is um, a time factor here uh, going on. So I'm seeing that you're needing to have this um, courage and strength so because it's important um, because of the shared energy. So I'm feeling like this has to do with uh, um, a twin flame connection now more so. And then we do have the 34 here, which is seven. It's a spiritual number. Um, there's a lot of green uh, here. So this has to do with something on the physical plane uh, on the earth. So this is a, a energy that they're wanting you to be aware of and possibly look for signs. Is there a romance angel card? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Again, two references to expectations and also two references to flow. So it's saying just keep your open mind. Keep an open mind is what I'm getting is they may not think like you. They may not do things the way you would do it. So just release your expectations of the situation. Um, have patience. And um, this uh, will 
work itself out is what I'm getting. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Okay, so that's right here in this energy of mirroring and courage. So I'm also picking up like as a side message, an additional uh, message that you possibly could be getting to know each other um, through this mirroring. You might be feeling each other's energy um, with uh, conversations, signs and awareness. Um, what I'm getting from this card here, like there's some... Um, reflective energy going on maybe this is happening intuitively or maybe telepathically um uh, inner knowing or through uh subconscious levels dreams is what i'm getting romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring. So it's saying just go with go with this, go with this feeling. If you're in this romantic feeling and you are um, receiving romance uh, through awareness and signs, um, just be uh, patient over it. There's again, I've, there's a time factor. Just allow it to happen. Allow these feelings to flow. Be in this good energy. Be in this playful uh, energy. Uh, put the effort into it is what I'm getting. So I think it's more about effort with this occupation card. Put the effort into this or someone could be in this energy of that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be going with the flow and put an effort into this uh, situation. Keep it an open mind about this um, connection. So these are the fairy um, tarot cards. Four of Spring, which is the Four of Wands. So um, this is the 1111 um, a symbol. So like um, I mentioned, I feel that it is, has to do with the Twin Flame connection. This is about foundations. This is about union, celebrations. Um, that could be also having to do with um, the holiday season as well. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A controlled, I'm sorry, I said control, a contented personal life. So be in this um, awareness of uh, bliss and happiness and celebratory, keeping your mind open, not closed off. Um, even if, you know, there is um, a time factor in here, just live in the moment, be playful, um, be in the romance um, energy is as what I'm getting here. Okay. Ten of summer, which is the ten of cups. Okay, so that's right under this mirroring and this courage and getting to know each other. So this is about the ultimate happiness. Um, emotional uh, fulfillment with family relationships, love relationships, um, an emotional fulfilling life with family or friends, raising uh, children wisely, people you can trust. Okay. So someone could be in this energy too, or this is, a, I feel like it's a shared energy um, of knowing uh, mastering this, uh, needing to master this energy of fear and having courage and looking for that Ten of Cups energy and knowing that that's what it's about. This is about conversations that I feel is going to take place or that you're wanting to take place. So like I said, keep in mind this energy could be flipped. This could be um, uh, this energy, though, I don't think it's flipped. I feel like it's shared. Um, 
these energies or things I'm talking about could be the other person thinking about that's what they're going to do. They're going to face their fear in order to um, go towards this uh, Ten of Cups through uh, conversations, getting to know each other, uh, learning more uh, about each other. Okay. Like they're going to go with the flow. And um, possibly some um, could be uh, putting in the effort to go with the flow. Maybe not even having patience. But patience is here. So it could be about needing that. That is a tie factor here. Two of summer. Oh my God. Two of cups. Okay. So you have the ten of cups and the two of cups here. And I know there was a mention of a soulmate on one of these cards. Y'all yeah, keep an open mind. Yeah, your soulmate may differ. Okay. Um, this is uh, falling in love or making a serious commitment to someone. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up. Your relationship can be healed. Okay, wow. That's that's pretty um, powerful because it's saying that I'm feeling too that also what I'm getting is because of your patience and just allowing things to flow as well. Um, living in that moment, being in that romantic uh, energy. Uh, for some of you, this is what's uh, making this uh, take place. Okay, this is was being manifested. Two of Cups is about true love um, as well. Um, soulmate connections. Um, so some of you also um, could be dealing with divine soulmate. I feel like the majority of the energy I'm picking up is for Twin Flame. But this also could be about a divine uh, soulmate uh, connection as well. Okay. So this is the energy coming in here. Ten of Cups, Two of Cups, and Four of Wands. This is about union. I feel this strongly um, about Twin Flames here in this connection with this uh, spiritual number seven here and then this, this uh, Four of Wands. For some of you, um, this could be about you know, a soulmate, being happy with a soulmate um, as well, celebrating, or there's there's an energy about something coming. Someone is um, in an awareness energy, and then they're going to face their fear is what I'm getting. You might be getting some signs, okay, or they are getting some signs to go with the flow, okay? So I'm going to turn these cards over, and then I'm going to get a message from the uh, Crystal Mandala. That's going to be the reading here. So the general message is put the, putting the effort into uh, being playful in a romantic energy, possibly with um, a twin flame connection or soulmate. I feel as strongly is um, has to do with uh, twin flames majority energy is what I'm getting right now. So this is either a shared energy or one. Or the other is um, putting the effort into this. They're going to come forward and face their fear. That's what I'm getting. So we have Ram Perseverance. See, that's, that's you know, just going through, getting to your destination. Um, you have many gifts. No problem uh, can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop never give up and good luck will follow okay there is this um energy here about there's two references to what is here on the um, um table here your patience with patience so you're definitely needing um patience okay i'm trying to figure out where the other reference i just had oh the mind okay contemplation so there is this thoughts, um, being in, in uh, your, your mind space, you're, you're contemplating, you're thinking, your mind is open. So you keep an open mind, awareness, or this is the energy you are needing to be in, 
okay, about celebrating, being in a celebratory energy, being in a romantic energy, because this Ten of Cups and this uh, Two of Cups is something that I feel is um, coming towards you, that that's going to happen, um, there's, because there's effort being put into it, being in this playful energy. So stay in this playful energy, because that's what's bringing your your um, twin flame or soulmate to you. Keep um, persevering to through, basically. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So we have two threes here. Um, threes are also, for me, prayers answered. Um, it does have to do with um, a little bit, not a little bit, but uh, ascended masters, people around you, uh, angels, uh, protection as well. Again, concern is about being in the mind space, okay? Uh, thinking. So some of you could be overthinking and needing to balance this energy because the three and the three is six uh, for balance. So I did a read earlier where this came up again, um, spring, which is about um, things blossoming, new uh, things on the horizon, thinking about the future, a fresh start. Uh, someone could be thinking of this could be you in this energy concerned about this maybe concerned about whether someone is going to there is going to be an offer or there's going to be a fresh start um so this is after winter time so this could be something that is coming um during the spring as well partnership okay so there's a lot of references to um relationships here partnership teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with, build up your talented support team. So I'm really feeling like if you um, keep your energy in this high vibration, um, these things are being uh, manifested and they're uh, coming to you. And a lot of you are already in that energy and, and that's what's why this is gonna take place. This uh, union is what I'm getting express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so there's communication um that is going to uh, be taking place where someone is going to express that they want this new start a partnership okay and there um i feel like with this flow energy they're just they're just going to go with the flow okay they're just going to go with the flow even though there's there is a timing factor here involved so maybe you're the one that's needing to have patience um, could be the other person, but this is, uh, this is what's, uh, on the horizon is what I'm getting. Uh, princess of spring. So this is a page. This is about good news. So there's some good news coming in. This is, uh, a a there's fire and water energy. So this could have to do with fire signs or water signs, but it really, um, doesn't mean so. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, um, Scorpio or Aquarius, what did I say? <laughs> I almost said Aquarius. Pisces, uh, Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer for the water signs. Okay, it's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. Okay, so this is about taking that first step, taking an action. Okay, someone is wanting to take that first step. And they're going to because of all this energy here with this partnership, two of cups, ten of cups, four of wands. Okay, that's all the cards here on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a message from, this is a crystal mandala oracle. What's the advice or message that spirit wants to tell you? And we have number one, Archangel Metatron and Clear Court. Clor I can't speak. And Clear Courts, power. So I'm already I'm sensing just from this word alone that you have the power to make all this happen. This is all up to you. It's all about being in uh, a good energy and being patient. Okay. One represents new beginnings as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read a message from this card just to see if there's any additional confirmations here. Okay. 
Together we bring you the gift of power, spiritual power, which I said with this seven here, um, the being divine. Um, spiritual power enables you to trust in your higher guidance, no matter what appears to be happening in your life. Psychological and emotional power enables you to transform through enabling your belief system and processing your emotions through which you gain wisdom. Physical power gives you the strength to take action on the matters that serve your life path. The gift of power is safe for you to receive because you will use it to fulfill your divine destiny, which in turn supports all beings. Okay, so this is saying that no matter what is going on in your life right now, even if it seems like nothing is working out um, or going the way that you want it to go, that you have the power to manifest everything that you want. And some of you, you are already doing that. Um, you're aware. And then some of you are needing to be aware. And there's possible that you're, you're receiving signs, um, like I said, synchronicities and things like that. But you have the control. You have the power over making what you want in your life. Okay, and it's in the highest good of all, which is another confirmation for me that this is a divine uh, connection. Okay, all right, that's what I have for you guys. So I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. All these cards and um, things around here, uh, most of the stuff is available below in the description. Um, so I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. I appreciate you very much. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.